the autumn equinox brings us Mabon or the witch's Thanksgiving. This is a time of equal light and equal dark for us in the Northern Hemisphere where we are celebrating the transition from summer into fall. Um, but is balance and this one day of balance, is it something that we should be chasing all year round? And how can we lean into this energy right now? That's what we're talking about on today's podcast. We know that you were born magical. We know that you are intuitive and we know that you are brimming with everyday enchantment. Here at the Sisters Enchanted, we believe in intention, we believe in intuition, and we believe in everyday magic. Welcome in to the Expedition to Soul podcast. Welcome to the Expedition to Soul podcast, Sarah, founder of the Sisters Enchanted. Uh, listen, we've been bringing in a lot of new folks into our community through our free Stay Magic digital magazine. So if you're one of those people, hello, welcome home. We're happy to have you here. If you've been around for any of the time in the last seven and a half years that we've been been doing this work here at the Sisters Enchanted, welcome back. Happy to have you here with us today. Uh, lately, I feel like that life has been so fun <laughs> for me. I, I have been doing a lot of New England traveling with my family, my kids, and my husband, um, we've been on so many adventures this summer. So what do we do this summer? I've done two trips to Maine, to Bar Harbor, uh, Maine and Acadia National Park up there twice. And that is just uh, like, there's so many nooks and crannies to Acadia. It's beautiful. We've done that. I've done the White Mountains twice in New Hampshire, two different kind of areas of that Franconia Notch State Park. Uh, if anybody ever gets to the White Mountain area of New Hampshire, do not skip any anything you can do in Franconia Notch. Like I think it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen um, in my life. We also, what else have we done this summer? We did a trip to Illinois, a road trip with my husband, my two kids who are six and nine, my grandparents who are in their mid to late 80s, and my mother. We all road tripped from Connecticut to Illinois. Um, for a few days to see some family out there. We rented this big 15 passenger cargo van thing. It was uh, black. We felt like, like the secret service or something rolling up everywhere. But it's been a really great, beautiful summer. We've done lots of rock scrambling on hikes and had fires and been in the ocean and done paddle boarding and canoeing and hiking and bike riding and riding our scooters. Um, one of the things my family loves to do is ride. We have like razor scooters. My son has a, a three wheeled -wheel version. He doesn't quite do the two wheels yet, but my husband and I and my daughter, we have razor scooters and my husband and I have these cool ones with bigger wheels and we are like a band of misfits riding down the sidewalks when we're on those <laughs> whipping through. The other day I had Anna's kid, Anna's my sister and co-founder here, her eldest um, on a scooter, plus my two kids, plus myself. And I don't know if you've ever seen the movie like Wild Hogs and they're on their motorcycles going through or like Mighty Ducks and they're all on their rollerblades outside, like the original Mighty Ducks. That's what it felt like. <laughs> and everybody was just smiling and laughing. So it looked like this band of misfits just rolling through. Um, but it's been a really fun great, delightful summer. I've seen so many snakes. And if you know me, that is not my preference, but I have seen more snakes this summer than I've seen at like my whole life in the, in the wild combined. So that's, you know, I don't know, just a lot, a lot of happening. I feel like it's been a, a beautiful summer really helped me realign to how I want to feel, how I want my life to look, where I've kind of gone sideways with that and re reimagine everything. And as we move into Mabon, which I said is the witch's Thanksgiving, uh, this is the second of the three harvest festivals. When we get to Mabon and we have this uh, transition from summer into fall, and it's this one, two days a year where we have equal light and equal dark, the two equinoxes. So spring and fall, when we move into those seasons is where we see this. And I think 
it's a it's a great opportunity to consider balance right around this time a few days later we move into libra the sun in libra libra season and libra is that scales of justice it's it's a balance sign um but that's an air sign and i think that it really you know when we move into maybun the practice of finding balance is called into question a lot like what is the balance between light and dark shadow and light and you know, I think it's a myth that we find that we can find balance. I don't think there ever truly is balance. It's like those scales of Libra. We're always, you know, one starts to weigh a little heavier. So then we make an adjustment on the other side and then we have to make an adjustment on the other side. And you're sort of um, ebbing and flowing between one thing to another. When you have competing priorities in life, like maybe you have to care for yourself and other people or your work in your home, which is big for most of us, this work-life balance. And I think it really is a myth. I think that truly it is just we tip. And then the moments, like the two times per year where we have this perfect sense of balance are just these beautiful times to pause and practice gratitude for what got us here. Um, and with Maybun, which is Thanksgiving, really it's practicing gratitude for harvest. And, you know, if we were following, if we were all an agricultural uh, society, which we are not, you know, we'd be having our second harvest festival right now. The first was the beginning of August. The last one is Halloween or Samhain. And this is the second one. And this is big one. It's the big, you know, think of like a cornucopia overflowing. That's the kind of imagery we have with Mabin. And I think that really practicing gratitude, which sounds like you know, people talk about that all the time, practicing gratitude, but at the witch's Thanksgiving or Mabin in particular, and this time of balance is practicing gratitude for the fact that we have opportunities to bring into balance, you know, like what a beautiful thing it is to have conflicting priorities. It can feel really, really hard and like you're not doing anything right, but isn't it beautiful that we have those things that matter to us, that there is more than one thing that matters, that we contribute in more than one way in our lives and practicing gratitude for that. I think too, you know, looking at that light side, and again, we have the shadow, we can look at the shadow and say, well, what have I been tending to that has led to a harvest I'm not really thrilled about? Because when we think of harvest as well, because we're not largely an agricultural society, people listening to this here, most of us are not, we're not farmers. <laughs> um, we can consider, you know, what have we been tending to, just like you would tend to a garden or a farm? What have we been tending to in our lives that has left us to harvest something we don't necessarily want. You know, maybe there's a relationship that you're putting a lot of time into, but it's a pretty toxic or negative relationship. And you're like, why am I tending this thing? Right? What am I, what am I reaping from this work that I've been putting in? What is the harvest that I'm, that I'm getting here? So when we can practice gratitude for these opportunities, we can also look at what have we been tending to that is leading us to harvest something that's not what we desire and not in alignment with who we are. Because when we leave the shadow work season of summer, we're moving into fall, which is our ideation time of year. If you follow our 5 I framework, which is our proven and unique process for really resetting, getting calm, getting clear and creating anytime and any moment you can use this process. And during the fall season, this aligns with our fourth eye of ideate. And it's where we can say, well, this, what have I been tending to? What am I harvesting? And how do I envision something different for myself? What is a different path forward? How do I change what I've been doing? What does it look like to be a person who doesn't do this? You know, what tools, what rituals can I build into my life to start to bridge the gap between where I am and where I want to be? So if part of your daily rituals, which could include um, just what you do when you wake up in the morning, what you do before you go to bed, what you do in your transition times between work and home or dropping people off and picking people up, any of these transition times in your life, um, you know, what are your rituals around that and being intentional about them? And how can you create rituals in your life that are beautiful and sacred and grounding and centering and that are helping you to tend to what you'd like to harvest sometime in the future? So with Maben here, we want to celebrate with a feast if you're up for having one, friends and family, uh, gratitude, 
get outside. I love the idea of having a beautiful potluck dinner outside if you can with a bonfire. And also with that gratitude, that light, what are the things that you've been tending to that's harvesting something that you don't want to keep harvesting in your life? And release those things? How can you cut the ties on that day, the equinox, which is the tipping point from one season to the next? How can we let go so that we can make space for the next steps for us? Because I truly think that it is a myth that we can have balance all the time. That truly is a myth. And I think that we see that as we round out Virgo season, where Virgo is, you know, a tender and can also be a bit of a perfectionist sort of energy like wanting, uh, you know, detail oriented. And when we leave Virgo and that energy, we're moving into this scale Libra energy. And I think it's a great reminder that you just can't always have that in all areas. We're always ebbing and flowing, tipping more one way and then tipping back the other way. Uh, and when we think too of the seasons and maybe we celebrate it on this day because it is the... Uh, day of equal light and equal dark, right? But the reality is, and we talked about this a couple episodes ago, the reality is the earth every single day is under equal light and equal dark. Every day it is that way. It, But for twice a year where we are on the earth, we notice that it's equal light and equal dark, right? For the rest of the year, we don't notice it because of the way the earth is tilted and the sun and and all that, all that science, all the science things we learned all those years ago, uh, that our perception is that there's not balance. But truly every single day, the thing we're celebrating is available. Um, And it reminds us, just like Libra is an air sign, which is aligned with thought, it reminds us that it's really our perception of balance that creates whether or not our reality is balanced. And shifting to the perception that it's more of those scales, a little here, a little there, a little back here, a little back there, I I think can help us to release the, the hold we have on doing everything, getting everything right, being you know, I'm a, I'm a mom and a business owner. So I also am the sole income earner in my family. So I work full time. I've got two young kids. I also homeschool. I help care for my grandparents. Like I have a very full plate. And if I were to say, oh, I'm not going all in on every area and then be feel down on myself about that. Well, that's not a helpful thought, right? So rather than thinking I need to be the best at all of this, it's really the days that I'm working, my work days, the scales are tipped on work. Those are work days. So I'm going to show up at work and I'm going to show up less for all the other things. The days that are slated on the calendar for kids and homeschool, my grandparents, I'm going to tip that way and I'm going to show up fully for them. And if I get um, called on a work matter or I have to step in, it's going to come later after I've done those things. Right. And in that way, there there is some sense that there is balance, but there's not truly balance. Balance would look like having those things equal all the time. And the scales are never, they're never equal all the time. They're always moving a little one way to the other. So at Maben, this one little bit in time where we perceive, where we see that there is equal light and equal dark, practice gratitude, you know, for these opportunities, for what you've learned during the summer season, for the warm months. And then also understand what you need to release and look, give a good look at what you've been tending to that is leading to a harvest you don't desire. You know, what is that thing for you? What are you tending to that is actually not what you desire to be harvesting? And uh, how can you let that go and make space to create something different, more in alignment and even more beautiful in the next season in the fall for you? Because that is that time to dream, to release, to reset. Um, Because once winter comes, we move into another season of setting our intentions for the year ahead. All right. So there's some Maven things for you. We've got ideas in our fall Stay Magic magazine. It's totally free. There's a whole list of Maven celebration ideas in there for you to get you started celebrating the festivals if you've never done that before. It's a great uh, way to just center 
and be nurtured by the rhythm of the world around you, the seasons around you. One of the things that I know as a woman, we are often nurturing and centering everybody else. And one of the tools we can lean on is the supportive system, the rhythm, the predictability of earth. And it is here to support us and nurture us just like we nurture and support so many folks around us. So go ahead and check out that free Stay Magic Fall 2023 issue. And we also have our Season of the Witch class coming up soon. Where we're going to go through the Rhythm of the Moon, the Energy Centers. We're going to do a Maybun ritual live on Thursday. So you'll want to check that out. That is going to be uh, short and sweet and delightful and invite in so much magic for us as we move into the autumn season. It's a favorite around here in Sisters Enchanted Land. Uh, and I have an autumn birthday. So I tail end, I'm at the tail end, I just squeak in. <laughs> so I'm always excited to usher in this new season. So come hang out with us for that free event as well. Uh, and if you love the podcast, share it with somebody who you think could benefit from hearing this message today about bringing some balance, uh, you know, or changing their perception of balance as we move into the new season. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening in. And until next time, I hope that you have an enchanted rest of your day ahead. If you liked this episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast, please rate, review, subscribe. If you're listening on Apple podcasts, it will really help us spread everyday magic, intention, and intuition to the masses and helps us so much as a small business. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your favorite podcasting platform so you never miss an episode. There are new episodes every Tuesday. And as always, thank you so much for listening and being part of the community here at the Sisters Enchanted. And we'll see you in the next episode. 